Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share the latest and greatest with y'all from Walmart. These are such good pieces. I say it almost every time, but I have to say Walmart just keeps getting better and better. So y'all are not going to believe some of these finds. Everything I think is under $40. There's some really pretty dresses, great vacation pieces, great everyday basics, like this navy basic top with a peplum. Just wait. I know y'all are going to love these pieces. I'll have everything linked in the description box and I'll also pin it to a top comment so you can easily shop everything that I feature in today's video and let's just jump in. All right, first up is this adorable blue eyelet dress. I love the fit of this one and it does have fluttery sleeves, but they're not super bulky. If you're in between in this one, I would size down. This is a size small and it does have a roomy fit for a small. Love that it's lined underneath the arm here so it's not showing anything. Oh, I need to cut this little strap. I hate those. And then the back has a V and it ties, but it doesn't drop down too low to where it shows your bra strap. It's lined, it would be bump friendly, and this one definitely looks way more expensive than it was. I believe it retails for $30. Next up is this floral mini dress. This one is $29 and comes in another color variation as well. I actually thought this would be really cute styled for like Western wear with some cowgirl boots or even for transitioning from summer to fall in since it is a little more tonal. But I love the pink coloring throughout. Has a stretchy waistband here and then the off the shoulder does stay on the shoulder fairly well. There is a little bit of shoulder restriction if you're lifting both arms at the same time just because it does have like this fabric overlay over the top of it. It is a little bit on the shorter side. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference, mostly leg, very short torso, and it's hitting me at mid thigh. So if you are taller, I would maybe try to size up just to have a little extra length, but I'm wearing a size small here and it is true to size. And the way that the straps are done, you could totally wear this one as a strapless dress as well if you wanted to mix it up. Totally works and then the holes are covered with this layer over top. All right, this white cardigan has definitely one of my favorite finds from the haul. It reminds me so much of my J. Crew option and I get asked about it all the time and it is not available. This one is very bright white, which I love for spring and summertime. It has the white buttons and the stitching is really cute. It has like a braided detail. I'm wearing a size small. It is true to size. And if y'all remember the one that Walmart released Earlier in the year, I'll put a photo of it here. They actually did just restock the cream option. I shared a sale alert, or I reshared the restock alert on my stories. So not sure how much longer it is going to last, but that's another good option too. I wear these a lot, even with athleisure, when I just want a nice little layering piece for restaurants and things like that. And it would also be a great workwear piece as well. You can wear it buttoned like a top or you can unbutton it and layer with it. And then the seersucker shorts I had high hopes for, but I don't love how unlined they are. It just, they just look pretty cheap. Just FYI, I do wish they were lined. I think maybe if I go up a size, they will fit a little bit better because it won't be sitting as close to my booty. So that may be another solution if you're in between sizes. I'm wearing a four here, but maybe a six would fit a little bit better. But they remind me a lot of like a look that you would get at Vineyard Vines or J. Crew. but I just wish they were lined. But I guess for the price point, I can't not complain. So yeah, if you're in between in these, maybe try sizing up. When you get this dress in the mail, for those of you who order it, you are honestly not going to believe the quality I can't even for myself like the weight it has to it it feels like a dress that was 200 plus from Saks or something like that it is lined it's a cotton linen blend with pockets and it just has such a good weight to it i love the cut in the front it has ruching here little cut out here but it is lower than my bra strap so it is not showing my strapless bra and then i love the strap halter detail the straps are adjustable and then it zips up in the back with some smocking so it's just really comfortable and you get such a nice fit out of it would be petite friendly i feel like you could really dress this one up or down and it would be gorgeous for like an affordable vacation dress 
This dress ended up being really pretty. I love the weight and flow to it in the skirt. It does come in other color combinations and it's aligned. It was a tad tall for me to wear with sandals. I'm 5'5 five five again for height reference. I do put all my sizing in the description box below. If you wanna use that as a reference. But yeah, it's a little bit longer in the back. Even with this short sandal, it's almost still a tad long. So. Just a heads up there if you're petite, but great for you if you are taller. It has this little crochet detail on the top and then crisscross straps that do adjust. I like this little ruffle detail right through here. And this dress would definitely be bump friendly and it's just really comfy and flowy. You can kind of dress it up or down. All right, next up is this pink peplum top. For whatever reason, it's looking very orange and saturated on the camera. So I'm not sure if it will show up like that when I actually go to edit the video, but it is a like more raspberry pink in person, which is so weird. Hold on. I tried to adjust my camera and it is still showing up more orangey on there, but hopefully in editing it will look normal. It looks honestly red to me in the camera, but it is a really nice like raspberry bright pink color. I'm wearing a size small. It has a little ruffled, almost scalloped detail on the shoulder v-neck let me get my hair out of the way and then it's smocked it is almost a little too long for my shorter waist you can see it's kind of bunching over here on that side so just a heads up there if you also have a short torso like i do it may roll to, roll over a little bit on you it does have like the armholes why is it I, i'm like so distracted by how bad the color is on the camera and i really hope it's showing more accurately to y'all. Anyway, I paired it with my favorite white jeans. I will link a couple different options down below if these are out of your price point or just so you have different options. But these are definitely my favorite and most worn. And then these sandals are also a favorite back from last year. They're basically a flat, but they just look a little more put together. And I love the oversized little buckle detail. And then I'll also link up this cute little ruffle raffia bag. This is such a nice little basic top. It has a peplum detail, which I love, and it just gives it a little bit of flowiness to it. I also like that it has a little bit of extra length in the back as well. It's really soft and comfortable. And then I love the higher neckline, and it ties in the top back there. It's just to give it a little something extra. And I think this is under 15. I wanna say it's around $12. So great price point for a basic. I picked up the navy for Memorial Weekend coming up if you need some red, white, and blue in your life. And I kept on the same white jeans. And then here is that white cardigan again. I wanted to show you how it layers even over a darker top. It's not coming through because it is just a nice like thicker material while not being too heavy for the summertime. And I love how the little peplum detail comes through. So this would be such a cute little workwear piece. Next up is this coordinating little eyelet set. So first up, let's talk about the skirt. It has a really flattering waistband. I love that it's flat through the front and then stretchy on the back side. And then it has a tropical leaf eyelet detail to it. So it just feels very summery. It's lined to the knee and then the part under the knee is unlined and has a little bit more volume to it. And then the top matches exactly. It has the same print. And then this top you can wear off the shoulder as well. And then here's how it looks. On the shoulder it has more of a squared off neckline. Fits really nice, fits close here. I'm wearing a size small in both the top and the skirt. And with these pieces, obviously with any sort of set, you can mix and match it. So you can always switch out the top, dress it down if you wanted to with some white sneakers and like a basic top, or you can dress it up and pair it together. And then this top would also look really cute with just some denim shorts if you wanted to dress it down a little bit more. Again, you can pair it with some white sneakers. The top is lined, but I would keep it neutral underneath. I wouldn't obviously wear a black bra or anything because it would definitely come through, but it is lightly lined underneath. So here is the top that I just paired with the matching skirt, and then here's how it looks with, this is actually like a denim skirt. The front looks like a flowy little skirt. The back 
is like flowy shorts. So you can tell they're shorts, but there's a little bit of extra material there. So they just look kind of ruffled, and then the front has the shorts underneath. I'm wearing a size small. It's a really soft chambray denim material. And then they do have a matching top to this as well. All right next up is this cute little chambray top. I originally thought this would go with the skirt because they're the same sort of color, but it just looked a little too kind of frumpy and oversized for me. So I switched it out with my favorite white jeans again. Um, but this top ended up being so cute. I love the details to it. It has this little scallop edging down here and then the little ruffled scallop sleeves. It is very flowy, like the sleeves feel a little loose. So if you're in between, I would size down, but it hangs really nicely. I'm wearing a size small. And then again, here's a full look at the outfit. This would be another really cute little option for Memorial Weekend as well. So I shared this white eyelet top in my last Walmart video, which if you missed that, I will link it down below and I'll also link it at the end of this video. But I'm shocked that it's still in stock in most sizes, I would say. Um, it just has such a cute fit. I love the peplum detail. It zips up the back and it's smocked. Honestly, you don't even really have to unzip it to get it on. I just, I just have to avoid getting makeup on it type of thing so I can step into it. But I wanted to show y'all another way that you can wear it. So in the video, I originally wore it on the shoulder, but you can definitely work it off the shoulder. And then you can use this tie here. Here, I'll, I'll be back once it's done. So you can tie these straps around the neck and then it gives it a little halter look. I just kept this tied to keep this secured. And then it feels nice and secure wearing it off the shoulder as well. And now it looks like a really fun little date night or vacation top. I paired it with these blue floral shorts. I'm not sure if these are still available. Hopefully they are because they are precious and also really comfortable. But I'm wearing a small in this white eyelid top. Also I wanted to give y'all a heads up that I also link all of my latest Walmart finds in a Walmart folder in the LTK app. I'll put a little video of it here and I'll also link it down below if you are wanting to shop this video or shop any of my latest Walmart finds, they all get saved in that folder so you can easily browse them and you can see the price point and all of that. So if you haven't checked out the LTK app, I share so much in there, like so many outfits, sale alerts. I organize it by like wedding guest dresses and how to style white jeans and white sneakers and all different things like that. So I definitely would check it out. You can use it on a desktop if you don't want to download the app, but the app has a little bit better features as far as saving things to wish lists and getting sale alerts and things like that. So I would definitely download the app if you haven't yet and follow me at Strawberry Chic XO. I feel like the lighting has been all over the place this video, but a rain cloud just decided to show up. So now it is really dark in here. But anyway, next up is this blue and white striped midi dress. Here's a closer look at it. I love the halter neckline. One of my favorites on my body types, if you have a little bit more broad shoulders, I just find the halter to be super flattering. It does have a close fit through here, little buttons right at the top. I was able to squeeze it on, but it is better to unbutton it just so you don't get makeup all over it, especially to get it off. I'll definitely unbutton. The tie right through here, there's a lot of fabric, so you can't, I couldn't really cinch it super tight, so it still has some flowiness to it. It's unlined, but it is a little bit thicker. It has pockets. I am wearing a size small in this brand. Usually this brand runs a little bit roomy and I can do an extra small as well, but I am glad I went ahead and got the small in this one just so this top isn't too tight. And then these were the sandals that I wore with a lot of the outfits in today's video. I just got these in from Target. I'll be filming a Target haul next up so stay tuned for some new target arrivals but yeah that's a better look at the whoa sandals that i had on but anyway those were all the new arrivals i had to share with you all today if you love walmart hauls i typically do them here on my channel every single month so if you haven't yet subscribed i would love to have you join our little fashion community here thank you all so much for watching and i will see you very soon in my next video i'll be rounding up 
actually the best sellers from the year so far and then I'll have a Target haul after that. So I will see you then. I hope you're having a good week. Bye.